Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna hurt some people. Mint chocolate chip is S tier. Oh, when you bite into a big chunk of chocolate, it's amazing. You're right. You are right. You get the flavor of the mint with none of the downside. And that's why, that's where mint ice cream comes in, Pog. I don't know what the fuck dinosaur crunch is, but just because of the name, I'm going to give it an A. Because how bad can an ice cream called dinosaur crunch be? I have a mint chocolate thing of ice cream, but it's a brand that... And that looks like bubblegum, by the way. I'm not sure if it is, but if that's bubblegum, crunchy bubblegum, that's going straight to S tier. You know what? S tier. S tier. I have no idea what that is, but fucking S tier, dude. Chocolate's A, a tier. Chocolate's not the best. Chocolate is not the best ice cream ever. Like, chocolate itself is fucking amazing, depending on the brand, of course. But chocolate ice cream is never the best ice cream. It can be incredible, but the times where it's not, like, are more often. And it, it just brings the average down, you know? Like, there's more B-tier chocolate ice creams than there are S-tier chocolate ice creams. Do you know what I mean? Like, I would not ever diss it as much as to put it in B-tier. I would never diss chocolate so much to put it in B in, a, in B tier, but it, it's like it's not, it can't make it to A tier because there's so much there's so much like fake chocolate flavor out there. Um, for the half second you flick chocolate into S, I suddenly got very angry. It's <laughs> no, it it never it can never live in A S tier. It will always live in A tier. Chocolate will always live in the shadow of the S tier ice creams. I would do a vanilla as A, as a tier. You can never go wrong with vanilla. A tier, yeah. A, see, the like the basic chocolate, the basic ice cream flavors, I think all belong in A tier. So we're going to put all the Neapolitan flavors in A tier because let's be honest. The times where they're average outnumber the times where they're amazing. Vanilla is so good. It is. Vanilla is huge. But do you ever get those vanilla ice creams where it's like icy and it's like, it's kind of dead. It's kind of like watered down and it's just not creamy at all. Like that happens a lot with vanilla, I find. You get really icy vanilla with weak flavor. Rainbow sherbet ice cream floats. Ooh, I've not had rainbow sherbet. I don't know... I'm going to have to put it in B. Um, I've never actually tried rainbow sherbet. I don't know if it... Sherbet ice cream doesn't sound... Like creamy sherbet doesn't sound amazing to me. I think... I just think cream and sherbet. I don't know. Let's move on to cookie dough. Cookie dough... I don't know about you guys, but I'm fucking putting my nest to I mean, come on. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Cookie dough ice cream. The chunks, dude. The chunks. Cookies and cream ice cream. Cookies and cream ice cream. I'm assuming that's like Oreo. Cookies and cream is a scam, if you ask me. With crushed up Oreos. Oh, you know what? That actually... Because the cream, yeah. You know what? <laughs> These guys have F. They don't have E. They, they skip E. They go all the way to F. F tier. F tier! You don't scam! You don't scam us! With your ice cream! That's just regular ice cream! Mappa has convinced me! D yeah, D maybe I overreacted. D tier. <laughs> F tier is really like lowest of the low. Like F tier is like we're skipping E. Cookies and cream truthers. Sheeple. Wake up, sheeple. It's just bits of Oreo. Uh butter pecan. 
That sounds... That sounds shit. That sounds trash. Pecan's overrated. Pecan is overrated, guys. I'm, I'm willing to listen to your... To your response to that, but... But butter pecan? F. F tier. There, there doesn't sound... It doesn't sound good in any way. It sounds like there are a million better options. Butter pecan. Because I haven't tried it, because I haven't tried it, I'm going to put it in C. That's an over... This is... We're going to reserve this. Double chocolate. Double chocolate is a scam. Chocolate is... Double chocolate is just a scam. So is Rocky Road. Like, Rocky Road... Like, I don't want marshmallows in my chocolate ice cream. I either want ice cream or marshmallows. I don't want both. You don't mix your chew. Don't mix your chewy. You don't mix your chewy with your icy. Okay. Yeah, and you get raisins sometimes. Do not mix chewy with icy. I fucking hate the idea of Rocky Road ice cream. I'm not backing down on that. I'm sorry, guys. Moose tracks. Never heard of it. Is that just caramel? Like, is that is that like caramel and chocolate? Yeah, the raisin risk, the raisin risk alone with ice cream brings it down to also banana. Banana F F. Don't make banana ice cream. Don't don't do that. Banana is for milkshakes. Maximum milkshakes. Pistachio is a C. I'm gonna go with B for pistachio. Um, I think there's, there are a lot of S tier pistachio ice creams out there that do it perfectly. There are some ones that are like C tier. So I think the combination of that brings it to like B tier pistachio. Like pistachio kind of slaps. Uh, coffee is S tier 100%. I have to agree with that. Like, when you put coffee into a dessert, like coffee cake or coffee ice cream, it's just incredible. It's just incredible every time. Pistachio ice cream is elite. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Pistachio ice cream is amazing. When I when I go to ice cream places, I normally get a little bit of coffee, a little bit of vanilla, and a little bit of pistachio. I get coffee, vanilla, pistachio. I'm happy. I'm I'm set. I'm sorted. Or caramel, caramel with vanilla and pistachio. But I always get one piece of pistachio if they if they have it. I'm gonna move banana up because I haven't tried it. But I'm so confident in hating banana ice cream that I'm keeping it down there. Like I've been around. I've been around a few years. I've tried my banana stuff. I I know what banana is all about. I know that you shouldn't really have it. Like, this is what I'm basing it off as well. Imagine you go to a, an ice cream store, um, shop. Far worse than you're thinking. Oh, really? Yeah, so here, here's another thing. Like, if you go to an ice cream shop and there's vanilla, there's an, or look at all these flavors here. If all these flavors are available to you in an ice cream shop, and you go, hmm, I'll have banana, please. You're a terrible person. I'm sorry, but you are. And that's okay. That's all right. It's not your fault, but you're a terrible person because you got banana instead of something else. I'm going to I'm gonna move double chocolate up by one. Just to D. Here's some, some slight adjustments I'm going to make, guys. I'm going to move pistachio up to A. I'm going to move Moose Tracks up to B, assuming assuming Moose Tracks is caramel ice cream, okay? Assuming Moose Tracks is caramel, I'm moving it up to B. Cookies and cream is going down to F, because there's, other, there's better options. Rocky Road is absolutely staying in F because of the, of the... No, no, Rocky Road is staying in F because of the raisin, the risk of raisins. And the fact that you do not, under any circumstance, put marshmallow in ice cream. 
If I find out that someone's put marshmallow in my ice cream, I will... I will do some unspeakable things. This is going to raise a lot of eyebrows, of course. It's going to raise a lot of eyebrows. But that's... You can't please everyone. You, you cannot please everyone with an ice cream... With, with rating ice creams. Be sure to check out Captain Bookcase. And... I'm... And it's Boom Cake on Twitch. Oh, let's make sure we get that right. He loves to play music. He plays games. And he absolutely doesn't evade taxes. Let's give it up for him. <laughs>